Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Dubious Engineering. I wanted to share with you my experiences of the Retivis RA685, a handy talkie made in China by Retivis. <laughs> Probably. Anyway, let's get the old proverbial magma on a biscuit tin in place. So I've got a little 2 meter and 70 centimeter whip aerial here with a flying lead. And I'm just testing the SWR of that whip aerial. And the good news is we've got a sensible SWR for 70 centimeters. You can see that little dip there. Uh, the SWR, by the way, is the standing wave ratio. Those are the, effectively the reflected power that comes back at specific frequencies to make sure that the aerial is tuned correctly and emits the proper frequencies out into the radio spectrum. And let's just run a quick test of the Redifice handy and see if it's receiving. Hello then, folks. So we're in the van and I'm driving to the top of a tall hill so that we can stick this mag mount antenna on top of the vehicle and have a go with the Redivis handy and see where we can work, see if we can muster up any contact. Well, how annoying is that? <laughs> totally forgotten the connector that I've now come to my favorite dogging site uh, to try it this handy nice at the top of a hill and, and yeah here we go I've completely forgotten my adapter so I can't plug my PL259 into the SMA connector and the handy <laughs> all right <laughs> this time I've remembered the adapter so uh, I've come back up to the top of the hill and let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can score some contacts on here. Mexico zero X-ray 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 M zero triple X calling and listening. GE three CG M zero triple X listening. Yep. So we've opened the repeater and uh, we can hear it. Yeah. So, uh, whoop. M0XXX, here is Golf 8 November, Sierra Zulu, G8NSZ, Central Cheltenham. Yeah, G8NSZ, M0XXX, uh, up on top of one of the viewpoints in the Stroud area, and I've put a little uh, mag mount up on top of the vehicle. And I've got a little uh, Retivis handheld here that I'm just doing a little bit of a test on. Many thanks for the call back. The name is Howard. Hotel Oscar Whiskey Alpha Romeo Delta. And those are the working conditions. And I do apologize if I'm a little bit scratchy into the repeater. I've no idea quite how far the repeater is from this location. M0 XXX. Yeah, very good, Howard. Good afternoon to you. M0 XXX. Uh, interesting call. Bit long on CW though. <laughs> but uh, there you go. <laughs> Name here is Mike, Mexico, Italy, Kilo Echo. I'm in the middle of Cheltenham, uh, only running five watts to a homemade Slim Jim up a fishing pool on the balcony. But the repeater's a good signal with me, and there's a bit of smooth noise on your signal, but quite readable. Um, so uh, no problems at all, Howard. I guess it's uh, you're about the same power as me, I would think, off the uh, handheld. So I guess it's a nice day up there for uh, playing about with the radios. It's, uh, it's been sunny most of the day down here, and um, yeah, you probably know where the repeater is. It's on the um, the, the hill, um, not uh, sort of halfway between Cheltenham and Gloucester. So you can probably work out where it is when you get home and how far it is, uh, Howard. Um, zero triple X G eight N S. That's it. Yeah, G8 NSZ M0 X returning. Yeah, thanks ever so much for the info, Mike. Yeah, uh, good stuff. And it is a lovely sunny day here as well, mostly. A bit of cloud, but um, quite pleasant. And uh, yeah, looking forward to... Uh, actually looking forward to having a quick look on the map to see how far this little Retivis handheld with the help of the CG repeater has, uh, has, has managed to get us. So um, yeah, very good, very good indeed. And um, yeah, a little bit of white noise uh, on, on uh, coming in here, but um, I think that's just my reception of um, of the CG uh, location. Uh, although I'm quite high up here, perhaps I'm not in the best spot. And and this is actually just a little uh, a YouTube review. Uh, actually, Mike, before I go, do you mind if I use this short conversation in uh, in a YouTube review 
video for this uh, for this handheld. Would that be acceptable to you? Yeah, that's, uh, that's fine, Howard. I'll just put the black um, uh, band across my eyes then before you send it, uh, HI. <laughs> no, that's, uh, no trouble at all, Howard. Uh, send three. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> All right, Mike. Thanks again. Take care. Seventy-three, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll catch up again. In, in, uh, hopefully, we'll uh, cross paths again soon. Uh, cheers for now. M zero triple X signing clear. And there we go. There's a nice there's a nice contact with uh, with with Mike, uh, who's in uh, Cheltenham. Clearly, the the Retivis handheld is uh, doing what it says on the tin, both with a little rubber ducky and also with a, a decent sized aerial that has been SWR'd up. And I wanted to show you uh, how easy it is to program a handy these days. In the old days, it was lots of button mashing. Now you just plug it into a laptop, fire up the software, and away you go. So I've already put together a little bit of a program for this handy, uh, but I did have some problems with the program, in the sense that I'd enabled a received tone code for some of the repeaters. And sadly, some repeaters don't actually broadcast a received tone code, and that effectively turns off the speaker or squelches the noise that you might hear when the, receiver, when the repeater is talking back to you. Now, one of the interesting problems that I came across whilst programming this handy, and it is a minor bug, but it's a bug all the same, and I felt the need to report it, is when you change the receive tone code squelch, it automatically changes the transmit tone code squelch to off as well. So then you have to manually put in the tone code squelch for transmit too. Anyhow, it is what it is, and the good news is we're able now to program up the handy with all of the appropriate repeaters, and then we can go for a little ride somewhere. We can take it for a trip out. Let's write the new program into the handy, and then let's plug it into the aerial on top of the house and check that it does what it says on the tin before we do yet another trip to the top of a hill and test this wonderful little handy, which is only 20 quid, by the way. Anyway... Thanks, as always, for watching. So, uh, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching. Do take care. Have a wonderful week and weekend, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers and beers for now. Bye-bye.